move over peach cobbler there is a new star in town not really but it is a nice runner-up this is what you've been missing in your dessert rolodex welcome back to at home cooking today i'm whipping up the simplest apple cobbler dessert recipe satisfying any sweet tooth craving and my favorite twist to a true classic i'm here to encourage you to eliminate ordering takeout so stick around and i'll show you how to make this simple apple cobbler right at home Hello, hello. I am super excited about this dessert, but first let's get our fruit washed off. I just filled up a bowl with a couple of tablespoons of baking soda and warm water, making sure to thoroughly scrub and wash them, getting rid of any impurities and wax. And then I rinse them twice. Now that that's all taken care of, let's get these peeled. With a potato peeler or whatever you like to call it, get that skin nicely cleared off your apples doesn't have to be completely gone. All specific ingredients and measurements will be listed for you in the description box below. So if you need that, make sure you go ahead and check that out. I do not have the luxury of possessing a apple coring device. So I will be doing this the best way I know how. I start by cutting off the sides of the apple close to the core and making my way around the apple. Nothing went to waste here. I did eat as close to the core as my teeth would allow. Cut those apple pieces into slices. You can also cube these as well for a different shape and texture, but I chose to slice them. You are all sliced up now it's time to season them coat your apples with the juice of one lemon this is about two to three tablespoons and make sure everyone is evenly coated one moment let's preheat that oven to 425 to sweeten things up a bit add in one cup of granulated sugar one fourth cup of brown sugar i have one teaspoon of cinnamon a pinch of nutmeg and three teaspoons of cornstarch mix that so that everyone is nicely coated this is like a deconstructed apple pie if you will of course we must taste test because it is tradition and who doesn't want to taste this beforehand? And two teaspoons of vanilla extract to make sure everyone is stirred nicely together. If you are enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button for us. Now for our batter in a separate bowl, add one cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of scooped and leveled baking powder, one room temperature egg, two thirds cup of room temperature milk, one cup of granulated sugar, and whisk that together nicely until everything is combined and set aside. Also sneak another bite to keep us going. To prepare your baking dish, add to the base of it a half a cup or one stick of melted butter. Right on top of that, pour out your batter and then gently place your apple mixture throughout the batter. I also wanted to mention that you do not need to mix this. The batter will rise up through the apples and be beautiful and delicious. You wanna make sure you also scrape out all that sugary goodness into your cobbler. Place that into your preheated oven for 30 minutes and this is the hard part. We wait, but we don't wait until we clean up the messes that we've made. Now, okay, we can distract ourselves while we wait. Truthfully and most honestly, I did not need the timer to remind me this was in the oven because the smell piercing through this house. I knew it was done. I mean, visually, I don't know you, but this needs no introduction. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that you've allowed me to prepare and eat. I ask that it would be nourishing for what it is and keep me strong. Thank you again, Lord, for your continued grace and mercy. I pray over those, Lord, who are lost and don't know the truth. I pray that they might be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, um, that Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sins. In the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right. I've never really been a sweets person, I'm kind of more of a savory, but this dessert has and can change your mind. I got a little bit of everything on that first bite and it was magnificent. You ever see that scene from Ratatouille with the cheese and strawberry? Yeah. If you're looking for a quick turnaround on a spectacular dessert, look no further. This is a new favorite and helps me switch up things when my family needs a break from peaches. Don't understand, but still want that peach cobbler feel. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you need to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching and join us again for more fun and easy recipes. Until next time. Thank you.